Hi everybody, I'm back for more today with Jennifer and myself. I haven't talked to her, I think, before since before my vacation, so we got together to do a, another video for you all. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the videos that I do with Jennifer, we really speak at a cosmic galactic level. So what we always try to do is with the information that she brings in, which is very cosmic, very galactic, very big picture, because she actually experiences all of this within herself and her day to day, which you'll hear more about as we go through the video. Basically what she's doing today is kind of giving an update on what's been going on with her. And then as usual, I will channel additional information, provide visuals, provide more information that adds layers to what she brings through. So needless to say, what we're going to be talking about is, again, this expansiveness that we are, and I'm going to hit on some highlights here quickly, but what I also try to do is I try to bring it down to a personal level. This time we really do, though, however, speak to what's truly inside of us, but from a cosmic galactic perspective. So what we are hitting on today as far as topics within the idea of updating with Jennifer, what's been going on in her world, and as I said, she is a representation of what's going on in the collective, what's going on cosmically, what's going on galactically. And she actually experiences this through her vessel through her emotions, through her physical body. It's very similar to us, though, in that sense. So that's what this journey is. We're starting to sense more. We're starting to feel more. We're starting to come back into ourselves, right? But she has this extremely expansive role in identifying and understanding what's really going on in the collective. So that's why I think it's fun for you to listen to her and me bring through information from this level as well. Um, because as you know, I always try to bring it right back down to the individual level, but it's it's fantastic to get the bigger picture view. So today, what we're going to hit upon is understanding that we are bigger and more expansive than we've ever known. The universe is inside of us. The epicenter of all is inside of us, is us, all right? And it's understanding that. We've got some really good metaphors that will help you understand that, I think. And we talk about the depth of our existence. We're really talking about the fullness of who we are. And in these times, I think it's more important than ever to understand that it's all within us, our expansiveness. And it's our birthright to claim all of this. And we're going to talk about that today. So hopefully this will help take you into kind of the rest of the year, understanding like where we're headed, regardless of what the outside world is showing you. It's in here. It's claiming it. It's understanding it. It's knowing it and how you represent that within yourself. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. First, before we get going, I want to introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. I'm Carolyn. I'm a channel. I'm a distance energy healer and I'm a spiritual awakening mentor. And I offer these channeled messages and videos for your awakening and ascension journey support. So if you haven't before, check out the link below in the description box below this video, and you'll see a link that will take you to a free video on flow and how to create that in your body for health and wellness. But what it really does then is it takes you to my email list where every Friday I send you a channeled poetic message from the light keepers to help you on your week forward. I don't use my email for promotional purposes because I really don't do a lot of promotions. I just offer my services if you're interested. So needless to say, I am actually going to offer a special today. I don't ever do that. So I thought it would be kind of fun to offer this to you. So real briefly before we get started, the discounts that I'm going to offer on my services, you can find through purplerainhealing.com. The discounts are listed there. This is just for YouTube folks right now. So what you'll need to do is complete the form, the contact me form, and just mention that you heard about the 15% discount on YouTube and you can identify whether you want option two or option three and you will get that 15% discount and then I'll communicate with you from there. But this is a great opportunity to experience distance energy healing and in option two you also get a channeled email summary of the session from me. So basically what we do is we pick a time that we work together and you will go into meditation, you'll relax, be calm in whatever way works for you. I will then work on the things that you want me to work on and from there I will channel information, like I said, in option two, where I will give you a summary afterwards of the session. And oftentimes channeled information will come through, words, phrases, 
um, to help you understand your journey. Then the other one is just pure energy healing, where in 30 minutes you're just enjoying the experience of the distance energy healing. And again, this is all at a 15% discount. So the first one that I mentioned offers an email summary. The other is just pure energy healing. I still communicate with you though via email. So that's it. I hope you take advantage of this. I'm going to offer it through the end of October 2022, 15% discount for the distance energy healings option two and option three. Go to purplerainhealing.com to check those out. I would love to work with you and give you this opportunity to experience this. So just a couple things before we get going. I want to just tell you kind of where I'm at with things and what I've noticed with the collective energy as well as just what's going on in other people's lives. Um, we are right now, you may notice this in your own journey, we're getting the dust out of the corners of the room that we've just cleaned, right? That we thought was cleaned, right? So now it's like, oh, dust in the corners. Things are coming back up for revisiting. If you're having anything in your life where you're like, I already, already did that healing, I already did that work, Guess what? They're kind of coming up in a big way, I've noticed, for myself and for a lot of other people. All right. So just be aware that what we do is we kind of do what I'll just say. We always think it's like, oh, well, I cleared this. I'm done. No, it's not. It comes back for revisiting. We can get triggered again into things. And it's really about us clearing initially and then or dealing with our healing initially and then moving forward in our journey. And then all of a sudden like a little bump in the road, because it, it, it's about really clearing this for good, really healing this for good, being able to recognize when we come up against something that is a reminder of the past and saying, okay, wait, I apparently need more focus here. So, so and, and typically these, these situations fall into two major categories for us. It's this whole like work financial thing. We have financial constructs just flying in our faces, right? Really understanding the whole money thing. We also have a lot of clearing around relationships, okay? So again, this is, these are two categories where you will find the biggest areas of human existence that are kind of come back at us, all right? So just know that if you're feeling triggered now again by things you thought were done, we're getting ready for the new year. So it's like it like that, right? You're just kind of clearing out the closets, get ready for the new year. But it's dust in the corners. Remember that. It's a great metaphor like, oh, I guess this is dust in the corners. Didn't clean this out beforehand. It's back for revisiting. Don't get too hung up about it, okay? But know that you've got to pay attention to it and try to understand why this is happening and again center back into yourself to understand that you're being guided forward to clear out all of the heavy density so that you can live in a higher vibration and a higher frequency so that's what we're going through now if you're having these struggles these difficult times and remember these steps up 10 10 portal 11 11 12 12 they're going to accentuate more and more of this because it's rat i just heard rattling our cages rattling our cages to get the get the rust off right get the rust off and then break open that cage right and i think the breaking up of the cage it, it, it feels like, I don't even know why that's a metaphor they're using, but they're showing it like um, shaking the cage and rattling it. And, and then the cage, the door opens in the beginning of the year. I don't know what that means, but that's what they're showing me. So anyway, needless to say, it's about shaking off that dust, cleaning out the dust in the corners of the things that are being presented back to you that you thought very likely you already took care of, okay? But that's this journey to a higher place of, of frequency, a higher place of ascension, a higher place of vibration. So with that, I'm gonna take you over to Jennifer and myself. You can listen to the video and I'll wrap up with you in the end. Hey, how have you been? What's going on with you? Oh goodness, there's, there's so much. I always say the same thing. There's so much I never know where to begin, but it's, I know. it's, it's similar. It's, it's constant in the sense that it's, so always changing there's always so much happening um and i haven't really like gone anywhere here on the earth plane that i've been everywhere else I, you know wondered, I, mean. I wondered i figured that i kind of figured that so yeah so, I, 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 i'm curious so so it's been a while since we've talked and so like collectively speaking i because i always love to talk to you about what you experience because it's a it's it's a um okay then like a picture of yeah what the collective is yes is going to or is experiencing i'm just curious if you're um 
If you're sensing anything that you have been through or experienced that you see, um, I don't know how to say, like see for the collective or see what's going on or help people understand in a maybe a different way than I usually, you know, explain things. I don't know. I just think it's interesting to have those conversations about what you experience. Yes, I think that it's it's going to be a um, as it would trickle down maybe into the intuitive or the uh, general sensing of your energetic or maybe manifesting out into the life. I think right now what would probably be seen more than anything else is just a reclamation of um, a reclamation of just not, you know, it's not just things that are um, maybe trendy in the ascension, you know, when you think of a, what ascension would be, it's this, that, and the other. And there's a lot of kind of neat things about it. And we've kind of touched on it. I think that there's such depth in our origin and where we come from, our birthright, who we really are truly at our, at our most, um, at our completeness, Mm -hmm. that is so massive and beautiful and just beyond our maybe surface understanding of what Ascension would feel like as a light worker or things that we've been doing, you know, it's so deep and it's so, um, there's so much richness to it that it's a reclamation of the whole whole thing it's like pulling the whole thing in and it's i mean a lot of times i say the same thing but i have a deeper understanding of it so i'm repeating myself but i i think my understanding of it is it's really like we are not we're not we're not um what is the word i'm looking for compromising on anything Yes. Right. And, and and as you're talking, what I'm, and I've gotten some of this information in the past kind of ties to the same detail I've provided, but what they're showing me is that um, all that multi-layering of beauty has been covered up by the, the, kind of, I'll just say in general, the kind of that 3D heaviness. And so what we're doing is we're coming, it's like we're climbing out of a cave. They're showing this, climbing out of a cave and having all the the gravels falling down on us and we think it's going to cave in. And But we're climbing out to that beautiful light that we're seeing up above from the cave. They're giving a metaphor being like down in a real huge hole. But, But what you're seeing is that when we get to that light, how much there is out there for us. That's truly us, right? Like we're just, we're cleaning out all this gum. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, you think about it. Okay. Let's, let's say like, just take it in general light work. And then we think of there's an, there's an event, there's an ascension and there's an event. And then there is a, a kind of a newer space. It's so much more than that. Oh, yeah. There are things that are, that, uh, you know, buried is an excellent way to say it covered, buried, um, spread out everywhere that, you know, that aren't even known, you know, that weren't even, they were just kind of like, wow, we didn't even realize that that was there. And it could have been um, metamorphosizing while it was there, or it could have just been there for so long, nobody was, you know, um, interacting with it, for instance. But it is, there's just so much. So it's like, it's not just that one jump off. I'm finding that there is that there we there's little several jumps oh and some of them are huge but there there's just a bunch of them happening and there's things going um there's things that are going in different cycles that make you think that you're not necessarily always like this it can look like it can look like this before you get to you know until you get there what what they've told me before this ties directly to what you're talking about is like two steps forward one back and then four forward six back or, you know, six forward and two back kind of thing. Right. And, and so it's not a linear approach to this plus that what you just said ties to what I've seen since August, which is they keep talking about the steps up each um, nine, nine, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, like these steps up, like we take another step up, but at the same time, we're also unwinding a lot at those levels. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes. And in the unraveling or the unwinding of it, things really can change completely. Right. Yes. And we can go, we can be on step seven 
and get to this thing and it can just put us right down to four and we're like, ah! But then yes. we look at four and we go, oh my God, that's going to be so much more beautiful when we get back to seven, right? You no, know what they just gave that. me? Yes, you right. know what they just gave me? They just gave me a board game. Isn't it Monopoly? I don't know, remember, but you know the board games where like you, ladders, you, get so. something, you, get, you get so far and you're all excited and then you get taken back. But, and you have to then progress forward. They just gave me a board game like that. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what it is. I played it when I was little. It was called Shoots and Ladders. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, I, I hate setbacks and I hate in, un, unnecessary ones. So, but what I'm noticing is sometimes when that happens, at least for the massive or the expansion of everything, I noticed that as hard as it might be or disappointing, sometimes when we come back around, we're finding that we're in a much better space. Like yes. we, would, we wouldn't have had that little thing there if we hadn't had to go back, right? Yes, so, it's just not fun going through it. And but we do understand that the more the more we travel this journey, the more we understand that that's a pattern. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is. It is, and it's uh, there's so there's a lot of really um, interesting things going on. Now, I know that. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting things going on with quantum fit, like physics. I know that a lot of there are oh, teams were telling us you remember that. It. Yeah. So um, I've had to, and I don't know how much quantum, but I, I ask questions a lot, and I uh, you know, have a team that I, I tend to, you know, bounce it off of. And I'm like, yeah, I think this is what I'm seeing. What is that called? Or and I think I'm delving into a lot of what we call quantum physics, but I'm just looking at it as kind of the way that the cosmos works. Yep. The um, the fabric of the reality systems, the fabric of the, or the design of different time systems mm -hmm. and how all of that would work together. So like, for instance, if you had a one times one type of time and another type of time and somebody tried to do a time jump from one to the other, how that would affect the totality of the fabric or the infrastructure. I got to tell you what I'm seeing because, you know, I see stuff as you talk. Yes. So they showed me a metaphor because it's always, I think, good to get these visualizations. So yes. when you're talking t this kind of time and this kind of time, they're showing like some kind of like, like a, a madhouse or a fun house where you're having to leap from one to another, but this side's moving. Okay. <laughs> so like this are moving and you have to judge it just right. So you can jump over to it. They're showing that like, yes. like to, they just said like tectonic, tectonic plates that are uh -huh. shifting. Yes. You're on this time. And you're having to connect over to that time. Does that? Yes. And it is, it's, you know, it's not, it's not for beginners. I have to tell you. So um, there's some of this stuff where we're looking at it from a retrospective, like a beginner tried that and it didn't go very well. And they were having to look at it or we want to do something. We're planning how to make that happen so that we do not cause a form an anomaly or something and it's it's uh it, there's some skill behind this right so yes um but yes there's 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 movement and then there's different forms um but it's been really interesting for me because i'm getting a lot of visuals and a lot of my memory um just on you know the different things that i haven't necessarily had to tap into on a human level being a mom or you know working even doing research that type of thing i really haven't had to tap into that but i find that when i try to tap there's so much there and it's right there yeah and, and look back and i'm like oh yeah that's how that works and all of this yeah. stuff just kind of comes in and it all it's yeah. just all there stuff starts moving and i have all this stuff I'm like oh yeah i remember that and then i remember somebody or they'll talk to me and i'm like yes so i feel like there's just millions and millions of years of, of oh um, you know what i just heard i just heard i didn't mean to interrupt but i gotta share this at your fingertips so yeah. here's the thing this sounds this sounds like me too where like if you just would connect in, it's all there. But we yes. go through our 3D day and have right. a tendency not to do that. But it's yeah. closer now. Mm -hmm. It is. And it's it's really, um, you know, some people might call it, we we have uh, some some words for it, like your the Akashic Records. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's really much more than that. Yes. Um, we give it a label so we can kind of understand it. But you have all of this. You have your own personal that you can individualize, or you can do it by dimension. You can do it by specialty. You can do that. Or you could just say, just give it all to me, right? <laughs> I just want it all. No problem. Um, yeah. so you don't get overwhelmed, right? So I've noticed that there isn't a whole lot, especially, and you know, the way I am, I like to just like almost sit in all of it without much movement and just see. 
mm-hmm. and that what what I need kind of comes to me without striving for it so much. Oh, that's a good kind of, idea. So I try to just sit, always be available, just kind of sitting in it, right? And then um, as I need it, then it's really easy. And even when I'm relaxing and not mentally trying to connect to it, but I'm just present in it. Right. I just heard allowing to show up what is what is needed to show up at that time. And right. so that that lines directly with just having, you know, being in a quiet, quiet space, not having to have to do something when you're in meditation or whatever, but just allow what is meant to come to you to come to you at that time. Open the door, they just said, just open the door by just being in the quietness. That's right. You open. I think that the we, we pick and choose a lot. Now, I'm not saying this is for everybody because I've struggled to this myself. I've had a lot of trying to balance huge things, right? But I find when I don't, I'm more comfortable because sometimes I'll say I only want love and light, blah, 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 high vibration. I only want to feel good right now and everything else. But that's okay to rest in. But for me, my interest level tends to drop if I'm not trying to hold the entirety of it, Mm. even, you know, from soup to nuts. And then allowing the, it kind of, it's a, it's a lot more, it's like holding a huge pizza instead of a little one, but it tends to balance itself out. Even if you get larger, you have to keep it uh, balanced both ways, right? So you can't be all one thing or all another, but if you do, if you allow for more in balance, um, you can allow for a lot more interest or more texture, more, um, yep stimulation, you know, this kind of thing to come in. And I just noticed that it's all there. It is all there if you uh, want to utilize it, right? So I've been doing so much of that. So I feel like I'm sitting in my home, you know, here in my house and I, I, you know, just do my daily routine and not really really even routine anymore. But, um, but I'm so multi-located that I feel like I've been everywhere so i tend to talk to people i just find it kind of funny now because i'm like they're not going to know what i'm talking about i'll say what do you even do i said oh i've been this i've been that and i feel like i've been all over the place and then i'll look back and i'll think well here on earth i've barely been to the grocery store yes (laughs) that's it okay that's it that's exactly (laughs) it and i think other people are going to really relate to this in that the on the surface, and I think I said this in a video recently, on the surface, it looks like nothing's changed for you 3 wise, but your whole world has opened up because yes. we we are starting to feel so much more multidimensional that, that we actually have conscious awareness of, um, I'll just say like shifting out of this body or having another experience while you're, you know, doing some 3D activity. You're, it, it's, um, it's less of a dividing line. There aren't dividing lines really anymore as we start you know, moving into that true multidimensional self and being consciously aware of it. We're starting to become consciously aware of it. And it's a little, I think it can be, um, uh, I just heard the word distracting or or not so much disturbing, but distracting because you don't really know what it is that's happening because we don't have any frame of reference, right, for this. But this is very much um, part of the experience of being able to be fully, like you, like you were saying, multidimensional and have all these different experiences, even though you're sitting here, I don't know, like, you know, in your home all day long, just doing your thing, right? Yeah. It's really, it, it is kind of interesting to try to mix it up. You know what you said earlier, it made me kind of think, I've had things disappearing from my house too. And I'm thinking, what is going on other than our partitions are moving a little bit, maybe. Maybe we're starting to walk in between multi-locations. Uh, well, well, that, that, I think that's part of this, the conversation. I, absolutely. Did I tell you, uh, did I tell you about, <laughs> oh my God, if we leave this in a video, <laughs> I'm going to do it. Cause you know, I just share everything, but <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I've told you this. Have I told you about the arm that's coming out of the center of me? Yeah, you did. Is it still happening? Oh yeah. It happened again the other day. Like I'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden I'm like, I have a third arm and it's right here. It's just, it's the strangest, it's, it's, it's as though I just have an entirely other arm, but it's not there. It's completely metaphysic. Well, I don't, yes. I don't know what's going on, but you know, when you start having body parts, like my legs will also, I'll be sitting in a client session, which, you know, I kind of live in a high vibe way anyway, or like a, a different frequency all day long. Cause I do this work. Right. And then when I work 
clients, things kind of take off more. I have been in client sessions where I don't have legs. <laughs> they're just not there. Like they're not like, and I don't mean like they've fallen asleep or prickly. They are just, I'm only half a body. That's, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I know. I, I'm, I'm completely with you there. I can, you wouldn't believe the stuff I can feel. My team is kind of even shocked sometimes when I'm talking and I'll say something like, there's a blah, 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 look for a planet that did this. And I think there might even be a, and, it's, and I, how do you know that? I said, I can just feel it in my body. I can just tell that that's what yes. it is. Like, what? You know? Yes. <laughs> it's, you're so, you know, so yes, I believe that completely. You can tap into another individual uh, or feel something of another in such a way that it's so real. You know what right. I just heard? I just mm -hmm. heard, so our, our human vessel is our container, right? They always talk about mm -hmm. that. They said, you can't be contained anymore. Yes, that's right. You're not contained. You're not being, so they're right. showing this flipping inside out. So we think we're this human. We know we have this little soul. We don't talk about this little part of us. It's divine. They're saying it's flipping inside out. So it's, <laughs> it doesn't mean we're going to look different, but the, 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 the divine part of us is now the going to be. Yes. That makes and sense. I so love true, that no, it's very true because it was all, it's about, it's, we talked about this before. It's about your energetic being, your source being, your God being, being trapped in a body. And this is one of the books I read about uh, uh, Adamo, or he wrote, Adamo wrote a book. So, and it was, and it is how, you know, it's so much how, what, what have we been talking about for two years about, I'm like, it's kind of a strange feeling now we're showing us flipping a sock inside out. What does that's that it. mean? That's so, it. Yes, we did talk about that. That's right. <laughs> So I, but I, I was thinking, you know, even I, as I know, the body itself is contro controlled or animated by a massive energetic being. It's not really in the body. It's all around the body and the body operates as a, like, that's why you have an auric field. For instance, you've got a huge energetic thing around you all the time, right? So even in the body so much, it's really more of the body in your field. Yes. It's your field is operating your body. It's not necessarily, your, oh, we're in, put the lid on, right? Exactly. It's not like exactly. that at all, right? Yes. So um, that's why I would say the flipping, the flipping it back outside, it's your, your field that runs your body. It's not your cram everything in and put the lid on kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. Like, but like a genie. <laughs> Right. This is We're why they're Yeah, this is why they're trying to explain this as to why we now are feeling like you just said everything's open and available to and us. It's changing, yes, and it's changing from that system because there were several, not several. There, there were some inter interferences, and some of them were um, actually not even seen so much on the Earth plane uh -huh. because there are quite a few human form style um embodiments that are not on this planet because of some of the um interventions interferences or co-creations that happen with the form mm -hmm. so we're even starting to bring that back in because we're not we're not just ascending you know just one place we are the epicenter of all of everything that exists you yes know, this is living library we're, we're walking on the living library of everything that exists yeah, in fact, so, that's funny because they said to me earlier the breadth and depth of existence yes that's right that's right so it's um it's everything so we go out into you know planetary galactically stellar cosmic you know what i'm saying it keeps going we're the whole thing we are the epicenter of all it is so a lot of these things even the human form as it's been maybe altered one way or another we're bringing it back to its perfection. So we might even start seeing different ways that, that the form was and say, oh, you know, I've got some facets there. I've got some participation there or this is going on there. And that's my, it's going to start flowing into. So his past lives might be more than what we would see here, maybe as a, um, a traditional planetary human, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so some of that's coming in now too, uh, pretty rapidly for me as well, but it's, it's huge. It's, it's enormous, but I can, I can only say that I, as, as, as bizarre as some might feel, or, you know, you have to really think outside the box to be doing this. 
Um, I feel very strongly that just we're, we're just not t- making any compromises. We're going to have that dream one, you know, yes. <laughs> even if, you know, no matter what, right? Yeah, so. you know, while you're talking about that, not making compromise, they're showing, I don't know how to explain this, like almost like a, they're showing it coming, a, like a metaphor of coming up out of a tube, out of the ground, or not so much a tube, but drilling up out of the ground and kind of this, blasting out everything that shows up to come in our way like literally everything like nothing nothing is stopping us now from coming coming up and why i don't know why they're showing coming up out of the ground but it may be that some of that that same metaphor of digging through the gravel and be having been buried but i'm just getting like Okay, they're giving a Marvel comic. They always do do this. I swear, like doing this kind of thing, and like we're we're just keep going straight up, but we keep blocking all those and getting you know clearing out those things that are trying to keep us from moving into all of what you just said. Yes, that's right, and it looks very different. I mean, I you would be shocked at what um, this upsets some people. So, but I, I'm, I'm I want to make it so in a very positive way. You know, when we well, especially when we're working for years, say we're doing Reiki or we're light worker, and we're heavily into like chakra system, this kind of thing, or you know, the certain things that we believe. Sometimes even our beliefs we become a little bit rigid in our beliefs. Yes. It's like, oh no, 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 we have this energy this way. Let me tell you something. That's the energy system in our body, the body, DNA, all of this stuff. I've seen where that is. That is actually a diminishment to our true. Okay, so all of these things, we're upgrading our DNA, we're doing all of these things. And then I was seeing like, oh, wait a minute, we actually didn't even get that there. And that's even better than, you know what I'm saying? So it, it keeps going past some of these steps that we're, I'm like, okay, just, you know, be the most you can be in every moment with whatever you have is always my, you know, would always be my advice anyway. But I think we're, we're stepping out and over and think, oh my God, do you remember when we thought 12th strand DNA yes. was going to be the greatest thing ever? Yes. Oh, laugh, right? Yes, because it's, it, it, yes, this is tying to us continuing, continually, dimensionally um, vibing higher. Is what I will just say. Okay. It, it shifts and changes all the time. And they're all as you were talking about this, and this is all news to me. They said, "Well, what you understand of the energy body is a way to introduce it, right, yes. and yes, to help you understand it at right. a level you can comprehend." Is what they just right. said. That's exactly right. And it is so much more multi-layered and so much more. Oh my God, that's so in- interesting. Yeah. So either the things like the body, the um, the, the uh, nature of the reality, the even the planet, even the planet, you'll be surprised how that starts to even st- give yourself like, oh my God, that's not even how that works, right? Yeah. And we, so even in an open mind, a light worker you know, you have, or uh, more of a spiritual person, you, you, there's even surprises waiting for us, right? Yes. Like, oh, word, I didn't even think that would look, we never thought that would look like that, right? Oh, yeah. So, oh, and I just heard the words were being spoon fed, which makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, all of us are to some degree. Yeah, yeah. So it's, and I think that there's a lot of it, this not necessarily has to be totally spoon fed, because we all have this in our memory. Yes. There's no, there's no, it's just a consciousness, uh, vibrational frequency. It will allow us to remember. Right. So it no, doesn't ever. have to be a long time. It no. can be short, short steps, but it's a level of, it's just a level of consciousness that's reintroduced or allowed and the memory of that, of the individual will come back. Yes. Right. Think- so it doesn't have to be that bad. Right. Just to clarify, I think what, what, what I'm getting, they were talking about is in one fell swoop, you wouldn't want that all to show up. <laughs> That would be hard, yeah. <laughs> so that's what they're talking about there is that yeah, it's it's spoon fed in the sense of it's a they keep saying it's a stepped process. You know, mm-hmm. if you're trying to explain that to us, a stepped process. Mm-hmm. And you know, that's the thing. I think, you know, kind of like what you said. I sit here and I think, you know, here I am in my house, pretty much the days are the same. I work with wonderful clients, blah blah blah. But my days are still, you know, there's a structure to it. It's kind of you'd kind of look on the outside and go what's nothing's going on there right yeah and yet everything has changed yes yeah yes. because it's an internal it's, it's such an internal journey that the mm-hmm. um the 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 showing of it on the outside 
it's not even really visible, but it, cause it's so, so, so affects our energy body. Right. And then we're in a time of, okay, so what they're showing me is that that's kind of what we're working on now. And all these, um, then they're talking about the, the follow-up to that is the manifestation. I know that makes sense of what we'll call new earth, right? Like, so yes. this idea of us coming into more of our fullness energetically happens first before that actually those actual new manifestations get created does that make sense yes yes it does it makes total sense i mean it doesn't mean we don't keep creating little things along the way but i guess what i'm saying is this like it's a progressive approach but it's all about this and then that gets created from what you've um um generated um energetically if that makes sense yes yes it does it's absolutely right and it has a it's almost like a banking, it's almost like you're banking them for the right time, right? Yeah. And there might, it may not show up the way that you want, or maybe yeah. you got diverted over there and you forgot yeah. all about it, right? Yeah. Or, and then it, then it kind of slides back in. Exactly. But it's, there's, there's, I guess what I'm, part of the thing that I was, what I should have, I was saying earlier about not knowing, there is even the idea of ascension, and some people have actually went into a reality system where they have felt, an ascension, an ascension event. They thought they had one and we're coming to find out that that was false. Okay. So it was something that was wanted. It wanted it to happen so much. It sounds like Atlantis. Does it not? They wanted it so much that they almost created it and forced it and it just fell apart. Right. Yes. yes. You're talking individually, people having this. There, there's been a group. Yes. There's been a group that has had this. It's, it sounds like Atlantis, but this even happened, you know, within the last few years here. So, um, and it was like created almost like self-created because they wanted it so much a rapture for yes. instance. Yes. And it went very, very badly. And yes. they were all, they all needed to be rescued. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's yeah. some things like that that happened, but I don't like to say that too much because it's, but there is, no, no, no. But that, know, that, that shows our power. power. Yeah, but there is a true, there is a truth to it. Uh -huh. So it's almost as though the reason those failed, I'm looking at is they wanted it so bad that they were thinking way too small because it's so much more than that. And so they forced this thing to happen and it just freaking messed up everything, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. you have to come back. It's so much bigger than any of these little events or any of these things or the second coming or either yeah. rapture, yeah. any of that, the ascension, the event. It's more, it's so much bigger than that. But they wanted it so badly that they created it. Like you said, we are very powerful. Um, we are master illusionists. Yes? Yes. Okay, so... We can we can do these kinds of things. Now, some it might it might have gotten to the you know there's maybe deviated yeah. out of some integrity along a lot of these to make it happen, and that's why you saw it crash at some point. But um, some of those have happened as well. But I always I kind of look at them, and as I'm you know seeing them and working with uh, some on those, I, I look. I said they were thinking way too small. That's just that little dot in what's actually possible yeah, right? yeah yeah it's they're showing and this isn't the greatest metaphor but they're showing an atomic explosion when it was unexpected when they first did it they had no clue what was happening their vision of what that would do they had no clue and it i mean that's fact and then all of a sudden they did it and they were like whoa right so yes. there was not it was not known fully what the ramifications were so i'm getting well, that kind of metaphor that's right and so that there was a power there was a power that was used to, like a conscious and we've talked about this before a consciousness level and a power that was one wanted something so yes. bad and they had a vision of something and they wanted to harness a power in order to force this to happen yes but the, this wasn't this wasn't theirs to harness you know what I mean? so in that in the uh, in the attempt to harness it that's your explosion okay and so, so what they're saying to me is this ties what you just mm -hmm. said ties to you know how i've talked about before um our level of technology that we'll have access to we have to have the same we have to have a higher level of consciousness to be able to it's the same idea it's 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 at it, the yes. the 
higher consciousness beings will also be given the higher technology given, you know, or will, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like children playing with, I don't know, knives um, or whatever, but they're, they're alluding to that being similar to what you're talking about. Does that make sense? Let me tell you, yes. And let me tell you something. The, the thing about this that we don't understand quite as much is that the, we were doing, we were, we're doing this as a planetary like earth and they think, okay, well, we're behind everybody. We're not. We're actually some of the um, higher level, um, older, so to speak, um, advanced beings doing this under yeah. veil. So yes. we appear maybe to be the ones that are not. No, but that's actually the other way around. Yeah. So the ones who kind of decided to do that at a lower consciousness, believe it or not, are a higher or so-called higher or other um terrestrial beings okay so yeah. it was interesting to watch how that played out because we have this understanding about ourselves we don't really own our mastery here as much you know as our being we don't we don't necessarily know it so we don't own it quite as much um but i noticed like even within these little uh investigating these little time anomalies there were things like other systems that jumped into our system and tried to utilize the tools that we brought to bring this jewel epicenter, um, living library of all that is, this amazing, beautiful place that was going to be this incredible um, gift mm -hmm. for the community, for everybody, every uh, for all existence, right? Mm -hmm. And they, so we had we we like I, I was joking with my head, I said we came in fully loaded this. This, this is fully loaded with everything you could possibly yes. ever want. Well, some came in in a really kind of weird way and decided, ooh, I want to try that. I want to do this with that. And that was misused, but it was actually not necessarily the, it was not necessarily the ones who had come here to make this happen. Um, it was from other spaces that you would consider higher, but they aren't. Their consciousness is different. Okay. So as we're doing like consciousness raising now, and it was after a little bit of a drop, but it wasn't the drop necessarily of the beings who originally originated this idea. It was from some other beings that we might think of as higher beings. So we might even listen to them and channel and think that they know more than us because they're galactic something or other. It's not necessarily true. No. The consciousness no. of the beings that came here to do this work or to make this happen are, um, the, con the the range for consciousness is is, uh, is much more developed yes, than so, some of our galactic friends. So it's interesting, and I always look for synchronicity. What you're bringing through right now lines up with what Roxanne and I just talked about in a last mm -hmm. video, which was what came through to me was that the galactics, let's just say a planet of galactics, that there's not, they're not all... We, to your point, we tend to think they're all higher consciousness and all got their act together, right? They're saying, no, there are different levels of consciousness within their own civilizations. Yes. Um, right. So so that lines up directly with what you're talking about. So thank you for providing that as a validation. But sure, yes, sure. They, they were very much showing that in that conversation mm -hmm. that we were having. Yes. So it's, it's, it's interesting to see it. And, you know, I always like to say the, to validate you know, we always talk about, you didn't just, you know, coming here, they didn't just give this, give this opportunity to anybody, oh, right? No. Um, there's been some significant challenges with it, but it, this wasn't just like, oh, that's this first step of preschool for everybody to send them there. That's not true. That's the other way around. This, not at all. not preschool here at all. It, so They just said that this is, this is, <laughs> This is an advanced, okay, so they're they're using a metaphor again, but an advanced experiment. And only those, see, the thing is, it doesn't matter who you are on this planet, everybody signed up for this and everybody is like, not everybody gets to do this during this time. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, it is. I mean, there's some of the stuff that I don't think anybody wants to do some of this that I'm doing right now, frankly, but it is no. coming here coming to this in whatever situation we find ourselves in. So, you know, there's been, there, I think there's been some bumps in the road, never expected kind of unprecedented stuff. This kind of a wow, but right. we have, we have the, um, we have the 
consciousness level here to handle it. Yes. Now, that, that I'm not saying that's easy either because we're under veil. So we have to figure out, we, you know, get that off. Remember how to sense yourself. Remember who you are, pull in your information, yes. you know, remember what's going on. And so it's in there. We've got massive depth to our being, but this is, it's everything that we need is here. And then remember to connect to each other in a consciousness field so that you can be a co-creative. You can share with each other what you remember, right? right? I remember this. So wait a minute. Oh, that connects to that. That connects to that. And it's because we've remembered to tap outward into the code that you you know, the one, remember that we're one at so at different consciousness levels. Expansion so, out of who we are, understanding that. Right. You know, it's interesting. Um, you just provided another synchronicity because what will happen with me, and they will also say this with clients, but when I, you know, we all have our moments, but when I get into my like, who am I to be doing, you know, that whole thing, you know, you kind of get into your frumpy day or you're like, eh. and then I always get the message. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. You know, when you feel like a small version of yourself, I'm just Carolyn, this human plopped here in Iowa. And what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> they will always bring in, remember who you are. And this is not just past lives. This is the divine piece of who you are, like the expansiveness of who you are. And yes. that's, so what they what they try to do is, as an example, and there are other ways of showing this, but they'll bring through your past lives. And I think this is why I do the work to help you understand the expansiveness of who you've been, not just mm -hmm. in this human lifetime, but galactically too, because oftentimes bring through that. But point being is that's part of understanding the bigger picture of you. It's kind of in the way that you can understand it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The expansiveness mm -hmm. of us. Yes. It's like, remember who you are. Remember yes. who you are. And never <laughs> let that, that, like be the, that downtrodden feeling. Yeah, feel it and then get out of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it's not easy to be both, you know. Again, that's a no. that's a master balancing act. I know here, to, be, to be, remember who you are and also be here as a human, where you don't exactly. feel like you can just like you might be able to somewhere else, right? So I've kind of gotten a generalized sense of, and I'm having to try to explain to different groups because there's so much going on right now that I'm having to. Who are you? Which which version of you are? What time are you in? what I feel like is happening right now is the, I feel like in this past maybe year more than anything else, but you know, over the maybe two years, I have gone from ever, I've gone through the, all the way from the beginning to the end and then I'll, and then return. Okay. And I feel like, okay, I'm going to interrupt you because I want to, I want to clarify. So when you say gone all the way to the end, you're talking, well, they just said end game of like, us as a collective, like, right. That, that plan. All exists, all existence. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure yeah. I understood that. That's what I'm getting. And now mm -hmm. you're, now you're, oh, they just said like retreating back to come. Not so much retreating, but coming back. It's like going yeah. from the beginning to the end, from alpha to omega. So I went, it's like we went from alpha to omega. Yes. And now we're coming back from omega back to the beginning to alpha. And I don't mean just in a small way and energetically, I'm talking about everything that has happened in its totality. It's been massive. Yes. So, and it's, so I've kind of been able to see the end results of everything to the end of where there is the end basically. Mm -hmm. And then coming back through in a reverse. Now these are running for me. One is going from beginning to end. Then there's a center strip that seems to be kind of more in a now it's almost like a workspace. Okay. And then there is going. In I just heard the words, the void, the void. I don't know if that'll help you, but they're like a void of area for you to work within without interference. Does that make sense to you? There's, there's that there's a void. There's a couple of things going okay. on. There's Go ahead. Energetic, there's an energetic where there's almost like a, a complete destruction because uh, you know real true creation there there's equal part creation and equal part destruction it has yes. to be in this way for yes. balance there's yes. you know they told me that right? yep. it's just it is what it is yep and, so that, and that's why that lines up with my old earth new earth old earth it's looking really shaky right it's breaking down and new yeah. earth is being built at the same time same idea so go ahead yeah that's right so and so i have like there's different planes for different reasons but they're all running at the same time so 
and there's different groups that only stay in one or only stay in another. And there is different things happening where there's, um, you know, there's an inner earth in one place and there's not another. So at some point the planet flipped in and there was inside and outside and on another one, no, that's not right. There's just one like this and then some like, so there's a lot of different um, Keep talking. designs running and they, they but, I, but in general, I'm seeing like three to four. So there's a kind of like a zero point now space to make yes. to, to, total um, decisions. And then there is a void, which is a destructive, like we're not ever, that's, that's completely going out, right? And then there, but then, then there's two, they're running in different, they're running like this. Okay. So um, I tend, I feel like I'm on the higher one that's coming from the end back to the beginning. So I'm going from Omega back to Alpha. And right I now. just heard, I just heard, cause I'm seeing this while you're talking, you're up here, but you're, you're seeing everything else that's happening in yes. those other layers, right? Yes, that's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. That's exactly right. So it's, it's, you know, there's, it's a lot to manage because there's so much, but it's kind of a, it's an undoing. I'm interrupting you, but I want to give you information for yourself. I'm hearing you're overseeing this. Yeah. Participating, but sometimes, overseeing. Sometimes some I kind of like overseeing. I'm overseeing over it from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> like how well, did I get down here? Just how it goes. But you're but, okay. So yes. so I'm just gonna keep going. They're they're showing me that, you, but you're threaded throughout. That makes sense though, yeah. given who you are, right? Like your origin. You're, you're like how we've talked about that when we were doing your sessions. But mm -hmm. you, they keep showing you threaded throughout. They're showing. God, I don't know how to explain this. Um, like filaments of, of you, like you're overarchingly seeing, knowing what's all happening, but filaments of you are <sighs> filtering into the other layers and you bring it back up, bring that experience back up to your, I don't know what they're showing me. Does this make any sense? Tell me more. Yes, I, I'd say like, if we use a, like it would be like like flying over, for instance, yes, and seeing yeah. everything happening and playing out, right? The whole, yeah. But but actually, what's happening is it's being projected out for me to see. It's actually happening within me. Yes. So that's what they're it, telling me. Okay, thank you. Like that's body. what they're trying to show yeah. me. Yeah. Yes, because filaments yeah. of you, they were just showing it differently. You're here, filaments are you are th spread throughout. So like what I kept getting was. It's all her. It's all in her. You know what I'm saying? So it's you're a part of this as part of you. Yeah. So it's it's like flying flying over looking, trying not to crash into anything or get grounded by anybody. Uh, but yeah, it's like flying over looking and seeing, oh, this is happening there, this is happening there. And I, I'm like, oh, I'm feeling that in my kidneys. And it'll be like, that's where we're gonna correct it. Right. It's very it's, it's interesting dynamic how the body and all this is playing together. Uh -huh. And and then we're going forward here, but they're going in reverse. We're going, or we're coming from the end to the beginning at the t at flying, but the, they're still going in uh, beginning to end down here. And I'm flying over at the same time. It's all being projected out. I'm seeing it all going both directions. And we've got a void. We've got like the recycling bin right there. And we've got the zero point right there. Okay, we're going to correct this like that. Or this one's going to go in the trash right there. Or we're, yes. so we have all of our... And it's coming out, you know, it's, it's like one's going this way and one's going that way or that way. And I've got, it's almost like doing this, right? Like totally. this, we're just, that's there, stay there. Nope, that's just, so, and, but honest, it's all actually occurring and I can hear what I need to hear from my own vessel. So, yes, but I'm seeing they just, that. They've been, outside. they've been saying to me, the universe in you, the universe in you, the universe in you. They've been saying that since you've been talking. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, there's your video for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you being here. If you will like, share, and subscribe, that will make it even better because it allows me to be recognized more fully by YouTube and share with those who can use these messages. So with that today, don't forget to check out purplerainhealing.com for those discounts through October 31st. I probably will start doing monthly discounts. I just think it would be kind of fun and nice to do during these times. Not to mention, this is a great opportunity to do gift certificates. So take advantage of this for the holidays. All right. And I don't know if I'm going to have a Christmas special or holiday special, I should say, but right now would be a great time to purchase those. I also offer gift certificates for you when you purchase them as well. Okay. I hope you have a good rest of your day. And again, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.